problem called nearest smaller value. So we are given an array of n integers and our task is to find for each array position the nearest position to its left having a smaller value. So we are given n and the values x i's and n can be as large as 2 times 10 to the 5th and the values can be as large as a billion. So for each position we would look to all the positions to its left. If there is one that is smaller than it then we would print its index 1 based otherwise we would just print 0. So there is no value to the left of this 2. That's why we just printed 0 here. For 5, there is this value 2 to its left and it is the first value to its left that is smaller than it and its index is 1, that's why we printed 1 here. For 1, there are no values smaller than it, that's why we printed 0 and for 4, the first value to its left that is smaller than it is this one. That's why we printed 3 here, and so on. So let's copy this example and try to come up with an answer. So this is our example. And, for, and to start with, we'll try to come up with a naive approach. So basically what we need to do is that for each position, let's say that we are here, this is our position i, we need to look through all these values starting from here and check for the first position that is smaller than it. If such a position exists, then we will just print its index, otherwise we will print 0. So since we have to go to all indices, we will start with a for loop. So for i equals 0, i less than n, i plus plus. We will also need to look through all the values to the, its left starting from the value immediately to its left. So for j equals i minus 1 j greater than or equal to 0 j minus minus then for each value j we will check if a of j is less than a of i we will uh, print j plus 1 to make it one indexed and say that found for example is true and found here is just a boolean so that we know whether or not we found the answer then we will just break and when we get out of our for loop we will check if uh, found if not found will print uh, 0. So this is pretty much the naive approach and the complexity here is quadratic because for each value i we go through i minus 1 values so if we sum up all those values we would go from 0 to n minus 1 and the sum would be of order n square and since n is as large as 2 times 10 to the 5th, then this would clearly TLE. So we need something faster. And to get some insights into how we could speed this process, let's look at this example. For example here, these two values. Suppose we have some other value x here. Suppose we have 0. Now, uh, if we check 0 and 1, like if i is here and our j is here, we check if a of j, which is 1, is less than a of i, and the answer is no, then we will move on to check whether uh, a of this value, a of j, at this position, which is 5, is less than 0. 
but this doesn't make sense because we already saw that one didn't make it so five clearly will not make it so the idea here is that we should not keep values like this like we should compress this interval so that it is um, strictly decreasing and the way to do that is to use something called a monotonic stack so this is a stack that keeps values in an, in a particular order either strictly increasing or strictly decreasing so let's see how we could apply it here we would start with an empty stack and we will um, have our um, pointer point to this value so our stack is empty and our pointer points to 2 since our stack is empty then there is no value to the left of 2 to do the job so we will just print 0 ok and we will add 2 to our stack and since we will need to know the position of these two we will actually push a pair into our stack two and its position which is one then we will move on to this value and we will check the top of the stack which contains two and see if this value is smaller than this five and the answer is yes five is larger than this two so uh, we will just print the index at the top of the stack which is 1 and then we will push this value into our stack so we will push 5 along with its index because we don't know maybe the next value will be a 6 and this 5 will do the job so we just keep it for now next we are at this value which is 1 and we check our stack is it empty? no what is the value uh, on top of the stack? It's 5. Is 5 less than 1? No. So this value uh, doesn't make it for 1 and will not make it for any subsequent value. Because if some value comes, 1 will do the job for it. Since 1 is less than 5. So this 5 will not matter for any subsequent uh, value that comes after 1. So we will just erase it and forget about it forever now the top of our stack is 2 is uh, 2 less than 1? no so the same applies for 2 so we'll just erase it and forget about it now our stack is empty so this means that uh, 1 does not have a value smaller than it to its left so we'll just write 0 here and add 1 to our stack so we'll add 1 along with its index which is 3 now we move on to 4 4 uh, we check our stack it's not empty and the value on top of our stack is 1 and 1 is less than 4 so 1 does the job so here we print 3 because it's the index of 1 and we push 4 along with its index to the stack so we push 4 along with, with its index which is 4 and we move on to the next value 8 we check the top of our stack its value is 4 and 4 is less than 8 so it does the job so we print 4 here and we add 8 to our stack and along with its index which is 5 and we move on to the next value the next value is 3 and we check the top of our stack it has 8 is 8 smaller than 3 the answer is no so we'll just erase this value and forget about it forever and then the next value is 4 4 also doesn't do the job so we just erase it and now the value on top of the stack is 1 and 1 is less than 3 so it does the job so we just print 1 here uh, we actually print the index of 1 which is 3 and we push 3 along with its index which is uh, 6 on top of our stack we move on to the next value 2 
and we check the top of our stack 3 is larger than 2 so we just forget about this value and we push 2 along with its index to the stack and no before that we check 2 with the top of the stack now which is 1 so 1 does the job so we print 3 again then we push 2 with its index which is 7 and finally 5 and the value on top of the stack is 2 and it does the job so we print 7 and that's pretty much it so this is our answer and monotonic stack saved the day now a word about complexity okay so we go through all values in O of n no problem here and each value will be pushed into the stack and maybe get popped out of the stack at most once so in total for each value here it will be pushed and let's say in worst case popped so it will perform two operations so in total we will have n plus n for push plus n for pop and pushing and popping elements from the stack is done in O of 1 so the total complexity is O of 3n which is all equal to O of n so the complexity is linear and that's more than enough for our constraints so that's pretty much it now let's check out the code so let's check out the solution we we'll start by reading n the number of elements then we will declare our stack of pair of ints because as we said the first value will store the the actual value while the second value will store the index then we will uh, declare a vector of ints that will store the values we will read then we will read these values then we will go through all n values and at each position we will do the following so as long as our stack is not empty meaning the size of the stack is greater than zero and the value on top of the stack is greater than or equal to our value at index i we will just pop our stack then if the size of the stack is greater than zero then we will just print the value uh, the index of the, 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 the value on top of the stack because the value the second of the pair is actually the index of the value on top of the stack otherwise if our stack is empty we will just print zero and in both cases we will push that element into our stack and so we will push values along with the index plus one in order to make things uh, one index because here they are zero index so that's pretty much it let's go ahead and submit so that worked thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye